RCA introduced to the world the first 16 millimeter sound on film projector in 1932. This was the result of a pioneering effort to simultaneously apply sound on film for both 35 and 16 millimeter equipment. The next pioneering effort evolved around a projector and companion 16 millimeter sound camera developed in 1934 with the idea in mind that such units could be made practical for home use, which even then was considered a big potential market. Further developments in 1938 on this model projector initiated the basic pattern for today's modern design. With the advent of war and the lack of a standard armed forces projector, this unit was converted for military use. Coming out of the war, this machine incorporated features developed for and used by the armed services which proved rugged and durable. With wartime limitations on design and manufacture removed, RCA progressed with the development and production of the famous Model 400 projector. Spurred on by ever-increasing demands for professional performance, lighter weight and compact size, RCA now presents the 400 Juniorette. To give you an understanding of how this modern design compares with the preceding single case unit, we show you these views to indicate what has been accomplished in a reduction of size. Since you are familiar with the current trend in projection equipment, we show you these illustrations of a well-known lightweight machine of other manufacture in order that you can assimilate the size of this unit with those with which you are familiar. This view indicates the relative proportions of the Juniorette with still another projector of different manufacture, utilizing an inbuilt speaker and which has been in use for some time. Inasmuch as weight is a great factor, and the ever-increasing use of 16 millimeter projectors requires that persons, particularly women, must be able to carry them with ease, we show you this convenient handling of the Juniorette to illustrate its portability. Now something about its features. The projector is put into operation by simply releasing the latches and lifting the front cover from the machine. This cover houses the reel arms, speaker, and take-up reel. The attachment of reel arms is conventional as on former models. These are quickly and easily positioned after which the belts are put in place. So much importance has been given to the pickup weight of 16 millimeter projectors that we illustrate the comparative ease with which this is accomplished. Through the reduction of weight and size, this affords a ready convenience in handling, particularly for women and young student operators. Provision has been made for the power and speaker cords to be conveniently stored in a compartment beneath the lower part of the unit. These are permanently attached to the machine itself and in storing are mounted on wooden reels for ease in handling. Through the use of a thin cable and standard plugs, the speaker is easily and quickly connected to the projector. Standard lamp and motor switches for operating the unit are conventional. A smooth, positive tilting adjustment is accomplished through this convenient fingertip control. The simple, effortless focusing adjustment is held in position by an ingenious, positive lens locking device, while a refined mechanical design gives you simplicity of operation, free from complicated threading fans. Fingertip theatrical type framing is included and has been repositioned for easier access to this unique feature. A small compact amplifier with a remarkable power output is housed behind this control panel and is activated by an on-off switch while the tone and volume is centrally controlled for the finest quality sound. As an extra convenience feature, provision is made for the attachment of a microphone or record player this can be done without the use of special connecting plugs. Brilliant pictures, superlative sound, and ease of operation are combined for your audio-visual pleasure in this, the RCA 400 Juniorette.